and love yoga lovers. We're continuing on with our 29th pose, which is downward facing dog. So uh, in downward facing dog, we start from our plank again. So I'm gonna come on down into plank. I'm get really set in my plank. <clears throat> so your wrists are directly over, under your shoulders. You're pressing back through the heels. Lift the thighs when you drop the hips. And then on the in uh, out breath, we're gonna lift the hips and press back into your down dog. So the goal here is for the heels to be pressed into the floor. But if you're up here, that's okay. Just know that we're pressing down through the heels. And there's a couple of ways you can do your down dog. One is to round the back, press the tailbone towards the heels, and that leaves your head between your arms. And this is a little more pressure into the wrists. If you want to stretch the shoulders more, you're gonna lift the tailbone, drop the head away from the arms, and this puts more pressure into the shoulders. You're looking back through your shins. Either way, whether you're rounding the back or arching the back. And then to come out, inhale through and back to plank. Then exhale down. Press up to your knees and go back into your child pose. Bring the hands down along your side, palm up. And hold here for a breath or two, releasing any tension in the lower back. And place the hands alongside the head and press up to hero pose. And that is our down dog. Peace and love.